Hello, good afternoon. Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Happy Friday, guys. Thanks for joining in to the Digital Ops Marketing Podcast and Video, where we discuss digital marketing strategies to grow your business. Today, we're going to talk about how Google SEO plus your podcast equals double return on your investment for your digital marketing campaigns. You know, a lot of people don't think about SEO and podcast and how they might work together uh, as part of an overall digital marketing strategy. And today I wanna talk about a couple of points that should really convince you why it should be part of your overall strategy and, and part of the tactics that you deploy uh, as a brand to not only elevate your brand, but also to provide a, a natural digital gateway uh, for new customers to find out about you, as well as to um, enrich and provide value to those who are already your, your customers. So let's start off right away and think about, number one, Google loves original content. That's probably one of the biggest um, factors when Google looks at what site ranks higher than another site? Is they're really looking for uh, original content and not only original content, but the frequency at which that content is published. So what is original content? Well, quite simply, it's content that you've written uh, and that's only found on your website uh, and that you've got organized in such a way that points to your authority on a subject matter, a specific subject matter that's related to your products or your services. So it used to be in the days, you know, um, backlinks were a real part of SEO. And again, if for those of you who are not familiar with the term SEO, it really stands for search engine optimization. You're really trying to optimize your content to get the attention of the search engines to notice uh, that you are an authority on a specific subject matter. Um, so how does that work or, or how does that relate to a podcast? Well, one of the things that we've noticed, I've noticed just personally, we've been doing this podcast series since August of last year. And, you know, one of the things that I've seen is I typically try to keep the podcast around eight to nine minutes. Sometimes we go a little bit longer, especially like on the series that we've done uh, on Traction, which is a book review with my good friend Katie Lilly from Elite Build Accounting Solutions. Um, but, you know, a 10 minute podcast, if you were to transcribe that word for word, you'd have roughly about a thousand words uh, that would be transcribed from a 10 minute podcast. One of the things that I think people underestimate is having your podcast transcribed. And then obviously you want to go back through it and delete out the ums and the uhs and, you know, the various pauses or you know, maybe you double speak or, or you say something that in an audio format, you know, the listener just kind of goes along with you. But in the written word, it's important to edit that information out. But if you were to take a, a transcription of a 10 minute podcast, you would find yourself with a nice piece of about a thousand words of content that you could then think strategically about how does that relate to the other content on your website. So if I'm doing a podcast like I'm doing today where I'm talking about SEO and I'm talking about podcasts, I'm talking about digital marketing, in the words, in the transcription of that, I can actually highlight the word, link it to that core service page on my website. So I've got a service page called SEO. I've got a service page that's called podcast. I've got a service page called digital marketing on my website. And within that transcription, I can hyperlink that word to those pages. And then of course I'll post that content to my website. And so what happens is over time, when you build a library of content, that's a thousand words of original content that's strategically linked back to your core service or product pages, that really tells Google, hey, this is an authoritative piece of content that relates to a core piece of content on my website. And that, my friends, is what Google is looking for. When it starts to think about where does your site rank in compared to your competitions? 
and it is really underutilized. We worked with clients who, you know, we go to their site and they haven't blogged in over two years, uh, or we go to um, sites and they've never created a blog, um, you know, and they're relying on some other factors. But really, uh, a blogging and, and using your podcast as sort of that pillar content to provide a written word of your um, ideas and your demonstration to potential customers, potential members, or however you think about your business, how it's organized and how your revenue is set up. Um, you know, your written word can really have a huge impact and it is often neglected and overlooked, but it is part of uh, you know, really, we've talked about this before, digital content at scale. And when we think about that, you know, you think about how do we as a society, how do we learn? How do we consume content? Well, it really boils down to three things. We either listen to it, we watch it, or we read it. And I think a lot of times people will make the mistake of putting all of their eggs in the watch basket, which is a, it's a good basket to be in because a lot of people like to watch content, video content, um, and that's how they learn and that's how they like to consume content. But there's a growing majority of people who like to learn and listen and educate themselves um, through audio as well as through written word. Now, once you have that long form content, that written content that's a transcription of your podcast or your video series, and you've got that on your website, then it's time to leverage the, the link power of social media. So, um, you know, creating a, a short title and a link on a Facebook post that links back to that article is a smart play. Uh, but organically posting in LinkedIn for long format articles is a super, super savvy uh, strategy and tactic uh, to help grow your brand awareness when it comes to digital content at scale. So going on to your LinkedIn profile and clicking on, not a post, but clicking on the article uh, component and then copying and pasting that content uh, and then sharing that on LinkedIn is a super savvy tactic uh, as part of your overall digital marketing strategy. Um, you know, the other thing that I think about, too, when it comes to, you know, subject matter and the tone of your podcast that, that ultimately relates to your written content, uh, which, again, original content equals SEO gold. Um, think about it in terms of education and entertainment. Those two pieces are really sort of the bedrock of um, why people will come back and listen and enjoy uh, your content. You know, if you can provide value either through education, teaching them uh, about your product or service is a great strategy or provide some entertainment value sort of mixed in there, you know, uh, whether it's humor or, uh, you know, whether it's storytelling, you know, whatever the entertainment value is that you can mix into there, um, again, can be a, a powerful combination and really generate more interest. Here's the thing that most people don't understand about search engine optimization. It's a long-term play because the fact of the matter is Google indexes uh, its website or, or the, the cycle is typically about 20 to 30 days uh, as it cycles through in the entire content that's on the World Wide Web, which you know seems really slow, but think about the volume, the millions and millions of websites that are out there. So, you really only have 12 times a year to really pick up uh, search engine optimization value points. So yeah, you could do a blog once a week. Um, you could do it once a day like we do, um, you know, but once a month's really not enough. You really need to leverage that. So it's a long-term play. And, and, you know, I think if you look back and you say, what can we do to help grow our business in 2019 and 2020? Well, number one is, is get yourself set up on a podcast transcribe the podcast, take the transcription, take the words that link back to your core pages. And that, my friends, is how you can double your return on investment for your digital marketing campaign with SEO and your podcast. My name is Michael Wynn. Have a great day. We will see you next week.